Hello. I hope you're having a cozy day. This journal I made using a book. I removed its original pages and replaced it with three signatures of my own. Because it has Daphne's diary um, things in it, it will be one I'll be keeping. won't be able to sell it. She is four and three quarter inches by almost seven and a half. And her spine is almost two inches. She was quite worn and falling apart, so I ended up putting some old book page on here from a flower book, wildflower book, to cover the black, I don't know if it was ink or what it was on the back, but I definitely like this, so. And on the front, I did add this and this and this, because parts of the front weren't in good shape either, but I do like how old it looks, it like, definitely was an old book. And I have included a couple of pages from the original book inside here too. I made a dangle that can come off. I think the instructions for doing this, although I didn't do mine the same, are in my playlist of favorite junk journal tutorials. I've made some other ones out of old books that I really like and I enjoy using. What I really like about this one is I removed the original spine, so as I said, it was falling apart, which means I covered it with fabric here and fabric here, and it lies so flat when you want to use it. That's the nice thing about replacing the spine. You can see I've replaced it with quite thick board, probably as thick, yeah, definitely and as strong as uh, the front and back cover so inside we have a pocket a little bit of hand stitching and a mother pearl button and a bookmark it's perfect to use in the journal journal cards tea dyeing on the back tuck space as always my journal cards tend to this is from a magazine tend to be blank on the back extra journaling space and there's some journaling space there Whoa, am I holding on? Oh, I was holding on to this part too. I thought maybe this was glued in there, but it's not. I thought this was fun because then it creates more space here and here for writing. page I took from, I guess it was a daily planner book from the thrift store. From a magazine. I think these were from Daphne's diary. I don't remember for sure if they are not. Writing space and a card. Writing space in here too. One here, 
as well as in here. And both of these are made from envelopes. Last night, my husband asked me, do you write in, in your um, junk journals? And I, he's not awake when I am writing in my junk journals. I get up really early. Didn't used to be a morning person, but some things happened a few years ago that turned me into a morning person. So I was helping with someone's child, and the only time I had for quiet time was really early in the morning. And now I, I like being up that early. So anyways, I showed him the journal that I'm writing in right now. It's quite big, and it's, I guess, about a third of the way written in. So anyways, I said, oh yes, I definitely, I love, I love writing in the junk journals. So that's why if I can't sell one that I've made, I'm okay with that because I know I'll make use of it. Because I've been journaling for over 40 years. He's really encouraging about my junk journaling and sometimes when we're in the thrift store he'll find something and he'll say oh this would be really neat to use appreciate his encouragement even though you know he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't journal himself and he it's not what uh not into paper crafting he's good with wood he can really make incredible things with wood and repurpose things and fix things restore things I did make him a junk journal. I asked, oh, he said one day, he said, oh, will you make me a junk journal? And I said, sure. What theme do you want? And he said, trees. We both really like trees. And so I did. I made him a junk journal. With, uh, trees, pictures from magazines and from calendars. It was fun. This is from a Victoria magazine, my favorite. This was dyed with blueberries. And something else, I can't quite remember what the other thing was I used to. That was in the summer. I like how this feels too. I tea dyed the magazine pages just to give them that extra old look. This is the same fabric that's here. I really like that. I think it's sweet. A couple of note cards in there to write on. And some writing space in here. little picture that I painted with watercolor. Journal card. This is a blank on the back, yes. From a magazine, same with that one. Journal card. And writing space here. Cut this from a bird book. These birds, washi tape. Oh, right here's a page from the original book, Mildred and Elsie. At that instant, there stepped from the doorway a slight, graceful, girlish figure. A magazine. There's a Daphne's Diary butterfly there. She suits this spot so well. There's no way I wanted to take it out and replace it.
Let me from a card. Same with this one. And this one. It's fun using uh, little buttons in here. Like I've said before, I have a lot of buttons. Yeah. And dyed the really note card. The sun's coming out. It's very bright out there now. It was raining earlier. an old children's book. I just love it when I take the time to do a little bit of sewing on things. Lots of journaling in this page. more room in there too to tuck other little things you want to keep or I want to keep since I'm keeping this one. Ooh, this page here is also from the book. So it looks like this book, original book, was a Christmas gift in 1917 to Hilda Bennett, class three of St. Mark Sunday School. And there's someone's, uh, it's like superintendent maybe, someone's um, signature. Oh yeah, I had to keep that. It's a little booklet on the last page that I made. And here's a piece of writing paper that came with one of my Daphne's Diary magazines. Yeah, it was fun adding extra touches to this one. There's some things that I put in this one that I want to put in the next journal too. Some ideas. Whenever I watch a tutorial I that I like, I save it to my playlist, to my favorites. So feel free to check out that list. Take care and thank you for watching.